I run the Sakyu Dragonheart and we've got some more Rogue Legacy. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. Last time we actually did relatively well, all things considered, so we have a decent... Also notice he, that Lady Lisa here is actually called the Paladin rather than the other thing. Yeah, that's a thing now, so once you upgrade them, their name actually changes here. Conduct electricity really well. I don't know what that does. Tunnel vision, no peripheral vision. Not, I don't like the ones that limit your vision. So, um, I'm actually gonna play another paladin. Uh, I think, I think I remember what chakrams do. Equipment on. This is basically just letting you uh, equip more stuff. I'll show you uh, in the equipment screen if uh, enchantress. Definitely unlocking that. And I think this guy over here is the other unlock dude. Enchantress unlocked. Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find runes to increase her repertoire of body modifying talents. Crystal Ball is just for show. Then unlock the uh, Mage Upgrade, which lets you change your spells and magic damage up. Let's see. Yeah. I was trying to remember what it was. Um, yeah, I'm a paladin. And here she is over here. Uh, let's see the chat. Let's see, does it just go in a straight line? Yeah, it just goes in a straight line. You throw it and you catch it. It's a thing. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased the knowledge in runes, and without their runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and I'll sell it back get to you at a profit. <laughs> and this is where I'm probably going to spend my money. Uh... Sprint rune, yeah. But curse sword. This is uh, one of the things that you uh, I unlocked already from the one fairy chest. This one, instantly gonna grab that. And here we go. A vault basically allows double jump. There we go. And the other one lets you dash. And I'm dashing on the ground. Uh, dashing one way or the other is actually a, a key, so uh, you can actually dash backwards. And you can dash while in the air. Very useful. But let's go talk to this guy. Uh, you'll notice that there's a weight, 0 of 60. Uh, basically, equipment has a weight. Go figure, right? Don't have the money to unlock anything, but... Ah, there we go. I was missing that. Double jumps is nice, but it's... It will help uh, avoiding stuff in air, I guess. But, yeah, that... Glad my character before this was able to uh, get them all. Dang it! Yeah, I should have been able to avoid that. So there's that. There we go. And the sprint saved me from taking damage. There. Yeah. 
Do note that when you're damaged, you fall straight down. Maybe not. Dang it! Yeah, these jumps and stuff are... I'm probably just gonna keep bragging on about how it's harder now that the game isn't slow. <laughs> uh, here's an interesting guy. You talk to him for a certain amount of your gold. You pick a chest if it's the right chest. Uh, you get the percentage of the money you have or that you gave him or something or other. It's like, okay. I generally find it worth it, I just don't have enough money to make me- Dang it! Sometimes money glitches into the side like that. Life happens. Oh, that's cheap. There we go. Feels like this will be a relatively short life. I like the double jump just because it, uh, at the top of your jump, you, uh, kind of slow down. Because, you know, that's a thing that happens, I guess. Dang, Nabbit. Uh, I swear, I'm better than this. Uh, maybe, whatever. Life happens. Ooh, nice. Uh, ADHD. ADHD with Chakram. Dwarfism. Dwarfism. I don't like the up close being blurry. Time stops a nice ability. It's kind of like the uh, fire shield where once you activate it stays on. Except this one, uh, <laughs> it's fun. I can't afford anything. Yeah, here's what it does when you have the one thing. And this just stops time, which with the uh, blurrow vision right up close to me is really nasty. But I mostly picked this character so I could, uh... It looks actually better if you have the, uh... Nice shaders on, except... My graphic card sucks. <laughs> so, you know... Yeah. It actually blends better and isn't so... Horrible. From what I remember seeing. I mostly chose this character for the uh, dwarfism because uh, I actually managed to find a place to show it off and don't die before then. I think he also has less knockback, which is annoying. Hey, Nabbit, I'm gonna die before anything happens. Screw it, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna look for a room with the thing that I want to show off. So, uh, I'm not gonna turn this down. Well, money never hurt anything. Ah, dang it. Well, I didn't get to show what it was, so I'll just tell you. Uh, last video, I pointed out a weird spot on the wall. It's a tunnel. Dwarf characters can fit in it. So, for good hair. Scorpion and Mage, Time Stop. Uh, Stereo Blind is actually pretty neat. Savant, that's a interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one because it's got OCD. 
basically just break stuff, get you a little bit of the uh, magic points. Oh, I actually have a decent amount of money. I'll unlock him just to show you him. Because he's the uh, other guy, the other shop, I guess, technically. The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of the castle, lock it down. Just make sure you can afford his fees. He basically just takes a percentage of what you make. Okay, there's a useful one. And in return, the castle is saved. Greetings, boy. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy. This level here? With a simple pool, I can prevent the castle from changing. So you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How do I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course. And magic. Mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. If I lock the castle, I'll take 40% of all the gold you earned. No. So basically, for a lot of money, depending on how much you earn, he locks it down. It's good if you want to, like, rush the boss or something. Which is a decent strategy, because uh, some of the characters that are good against some of the bosses aren't exactly good at surviving a little bit. So you just lock down the boss, and since it has a, or the boss, and since it has a teleporter in it, you can just uh, teleport to it. So this map here, uh, the castle is the main area, the forest is the next place you want to head, tower is the next, and then dungeon. Basically just different areas of difficulty, though they all kind of just uh, flow into each other. Uh, you might remember I told you that projectiles and stuff generally don't go through walls. That one technically doesn't. The problem is it's in the wall. So, it doesn't count or something, I guess. Yeah. Well, the projectiles with kind of an arc, I actually like this one a little better than some of the others because it has uh, one that goes in a more straight arc than not, so that's always a thing that I enjoy. Ah, dang it, I got hit. And no, I can't take those guys yet. Also, you might be able to see it, but at the bottom of the left bottom of the screen, it actually has what stuff I have. One go. I don't need to mess around with that annoying. Dang it. Actually managed to uh, poke him with that last one. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna be a little more reckless with my mana because I have the uh, OCD and get mana for breaking stuff. And if there's one thing about this game, there's a lot of stuff to break. And that's a Doom Vist, I'm just gonna ignore it. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I used the magic there just to be kinda like, uh, well, you're gonna fly off anyway, so I might as well follow up with something. I much prefer being able to one-hit things, mind you, but that's not always possible, obviously. Dang it. The wrong key. 
that guy I knew was a thing because of the, uh, because he was, uh, intersecting the window there, and, uh, actual pictures don't do that. That's just one of the things that you pick up after you play a game, the game a bit. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, you'll notice there's a little dark spot there that's basically just a shortcut to get up and down if you're a dwarf. Uh, notice the teleport, yet there's no boss. That's because this is to here. And no. I'm having a trouble in this area. I definitely can't do that area. Point even trying to kill him because I wouldn't be able to get to the stuff that dropped anyway. Yeah. I definitely like the game, and it's definitely uh, one of the uh, recent wave of roguelike likes that I definitely approve of. Things like Risk of Rain and this one, where they take some of the features of roguelikes. Yeah, no. It had a fairy chest, and if I uh, manage to get to full health, maybe I'll go back and try. But, as it is... Yeah, no. Also, things like money and what else, uh, if you go off screen... I don't think it can actually despawn if you stay on the same screen, but it won't matter. And that's an example of falling down all the way if you get hit. Really annoying. I keep forgetting this guy's ability. Dang it! I forgot again. I didn't have to die there. I needed to press A to block the shot with the shield and then be like, whoa, what damage? And then smack him in the face. Barbarian, chicken freak you out. Paladin. He's got the size, so yeah, I'll take him again. Well, not him specifically, but I had a similar one. Um, who do I have, anyway? Yeah, I should buy some equipment. Paladin. Yeah, okay. First thing, buy my sword. Buy a helmet. <sighs> so close. And we'll see if we can afford anything in the castle. Uh, if you can afford it, it'll have the plus next to it, so like. I can afford the attack up or the magic damage up. Go with the attack up. And now there's nothing I can afford here. You'll notice the uh, sword is actually a different color now. Yeah, the uh, equipment actually shows up as what it is when you wear it. So that's pretty cool. Now a lot of it's kind of more of a color change overall, but they do have different shapes and stuff for some neat ones. So that's pretty cool. Probably actually gonna just go delete my other save of this and just uh, keep playing 
the game on video. I probably need to get some Risk of Rain recorded today as well. There we go. I knew I could dash there. Wait a second, is this the... God dang it! This dungeon hates me! Um, also no, secret here. Um, let's see, is there another down? Yeah, okay, it just goes down until that, and then there's a... Uh, yeah. You sometimes get stuff like that. Yeah, secrets, not just for dwarves. Dwarves just get more of them. There we go. Dang it, did I use my jump already? I must have used my jump at that point. Or, uh, if you fall, that counts as your jump, so, uh, the uh, double jump actually lets you get a jump if you just kind of walk off an edge, which is nice, but, uh, if you're expecting an actual double jump and not just the, uh, jump, it can be a little... Okay, out of here. Goodness. I feel like I'm doing so bad. And I kind of am, so. It's not just a feel, it's the reality. I need to remember my special ability more. Because I've definitely died in situations where I didn't have to. At least I'm getting some money. Dang it! How did all miss? There we go. There we go. Using up most of my magic, but I feel it's worth it. Plus I'm low on health at the moment. So now I'm low on magic, so I probably can't uh, actually use my shield. I presume that wherever the uh, sword blow appears to be, is where it is, so, uh... That's not a good idea. Dang it. Ranged foes. At least it was a one kill. What's over here? Stuff. Let's try down. Do note skeletons are some of the few projectiles that do go through things, so uh, something to keep in mind. And note that painting is going through that torch. Once again, an example of how you can tell if the painting will kill you. like the, uh, obviously it's not like completely random rooms like, uh, some, uh, roguelikes have and stuff, but, yeah, rooms randomly put together with random enemies, no, somewhat random. 
definitely does work for this game. Uh, seems relative. Dang it. Okay, there we go. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to live there. Actually, not sure if this is the best of games for me to record, but I do like it, so I'll keep doing it. And I'll play this one. I want to show the stereo blind one before I finish this video. Get some money. Not enough to upgrade the mage, who is what I'm playing, but that's a thing, I guess. Probably go back if I. No, I'm pretty sure I've got some. Uh... Boom. Yeah, 200, why not? Almost got the uh, basic armor all fitted out. Of course, I'd much rather have uh, some of the other stuff, but I'll have to upgrade my uh, carrying capacity before I can use too much of stuff. Everything needs gold. And uh, you notice how my character does that put things? I'll do that. Because you can't see in 3D, so there's no 3D. Haha. <laughs> you just get the uh, cheesy flip animation. Which technically is in and of itself 3D, but I'm not going to complain overly much. Come on. Did I mention I'm not exactly the best at the game? I'm better than this, but not by enough to make it. There we go. Mage. Weaker than other characters. Taking three hits. Annoying. I need uh, some of the other weapons or one of the uh, runes to help me along with this. I see you there. Didn't mean to shoot the thing off. Ah, dang it. Well, that's a good point to end this video. So, yeah, this has been Rogue Legacy. This should be the second video, and yeah. Since I can actually play it, it'll probably join Rogue Legacy. Or, Rogue Legacy, it is Rogue Legacy. Risk of Rain. Which I probably should get around to playing and doing another video of that soon enough as well. Anyway, this is Zachary Dreyhart, and I'm signing off.